Howdy, this is Anthony again. I'm just playing around some high voltage and a cathode ray tube here. Um, this cathode ray tube here is burned up or whatever. The driver in it is messed up. So, I decided to make it work. Now, you can see that little dot right there. That's from the electron beam slamming into this phosphor coating, see this white stuff, just kind of like in that one there, except it's just color, you couldn't really see that, anyways, let's get back to this, um, this phosphor coating, it's from a black and white screen, or television set, so it makes a white dot, um, now to what I'm using to power the thing is, this is not a CCFL, which is otherwise known as cold cathode ray tube, it's called a hot cathode ray tube, so it uses filaments, and those filaments are glowing They're right in there. See that gun? There's two filaments. There's one actually. Sorry, because this isn't a. Uh, this is not a um, color, so it only has one gun. So there's your magnetron gun. So then. It will fly along, well, f this is basically a LINAC, because it accelerates electrons from here all the way to here. So this here is called your drift tube, and all inside there is focusing mechanisms. It's just a bunch of metal plates with holes in them. Now, what I'm using to heat the filament is this wall plug-in. It's just for a fiber optic supply. And the output is, uh, you can't really read that, 12 volt AC at 1100 milliamps, 13.2 uh, watts. So, this here is my CRT. Now, I have the filament side fixed. Now, the fun part is getting the high voltage. You have to have DC, otherwise it won't work. And if it does work, it won't work very well. So again, this here is just one of them bug zapper, you know, the electronic handheld rackets, it puts out 2,750 volts DC. So, on mine, this side here is the negative with the black clip. Wait, no, that's the positive. And this right here is where the flyback was originally put in. So, I hooked the negative side right to one of the sides for the filament hookup, you know? See it in there? There's the probe. And here's this one. And it's jumping over here. So, I'll show you the gun glowing in the dark. And I'll show you some really cool stuff about cathode ray tube. Don't really know if you can see the gun glowing or not. There. You can see the little tiny glow. It's very hard to see, but you can see it glowing. Now, the easier part is that. That's the little dot. And this is a UV light, so it's like really bright. But now I'll show you some really fun stuff with uh, electron beams and things like that. An electron beam produce, is produced by electromagnetic, I mean, electrostatic production. The beam is produced from the cathode, that's the filament, and it knocks off electrons off of itself. So, I just have a little magnet here, and as I bring it close, I'm not moving the camera, it will move around. Here it is in daylight. See, just a little magnet. See how it moves around? Now I have right here a, a ring magnet from a speaker. But those don't work very well compared to the big bad Mamu. This is out of a microwave magnetron gun. Much like 
this one. See? Here's the magnet. And then there's two of the little boogers. Right here. And right here. Right in the front end of it. See the front and back sides? Well, anyways, let's get back to the CRT mess. Now, this is a very strong magnet. Watch how far away it is. Here's the magnet. See how far away it can be? I'll get you a close-up of it now. See how far I can move it now? It's like 50 times stronger. Look how far away it's going. It's going clear into the black. Isn't that awesome? So this is my first startup of a cathode ray tube. Um, I'm going to make a homemade one. Can you uh, see that beam now? See, it's going all the way into the black. So, that was just another little video I made. So, thanks for watching, and subscribe. I'll make some more videos later.